In both Christianity and Islam, magic is defined as the use of supernatural powers for personal gain or to cause harm to others. On the other hand, miracles in both religions are considered divine interventions bestowed by God upon prophets or chosen individuals to confirm their authenticity and the truth of their message. These miracles serve as signs supporting the prophet's mission and guiding people toward righteousness and truthfulness. However, it's important to note that the definition presented here primarily refers to the negative aspect of magic, commonly known as black magic. Nonetheless, it is crucial to acknowledge that magic itself encompasses two aspects, black magic, associated with harm and ill intentions, and white magic, which may be perceived differently and involve benevolent or neutral intentions. Imagine a Jesus-like figure returning to Israel and displaying extraordinary feats. In such a scenario, the distinction between magic and miracles becomes paramount. Similarly, let's consider the belief of Muslims that Allah might one day physically enter earth and perform extraordinary feats, such as resurrection. In this situation, the ability to differentiate between magic and miracles becomes crucial for Muslims. If an individual were to claim to be Allah and demonstrate extraordinary abilities, Muslims would face the challenge of distinguishing between what might be genuine miracles and what could potentially be mere acts of magic. Let's begin by assuming Jesus was a real historical sage. According to the Bible, Jesus performed miracles. However, discerning whether these were miracles or magic poses a challenge, primarily due to a flaw in the definition of magic in Christianity and Islam. If we apply the criteria set forth by modern Christian and Muslim leaders to determine whether Jesus used magic, it becomes evident that the evidence points towards the use of magic, especially in instances like the withering of the fig tree demonstration, Matthew 21 18 to 22, where the presence of black magic is apparent. This difficulty arises from the definition of magic in both Christianity and Islam. The Quran employs the term ayah, ayat, which translates to sign or proof, and not miracles. While the Quran mentions numerous miraculous events performed by prophets and messengers, it does not use the term ayah, ayat, or miracles to specifically describe these miraculous abilities. Furthermore, the Quran does not provide a clear distinction between miracle and magic. As a result, Muslims cannot rely on the Quran to make a definitive differentiation between miracle and magic. The term magic has been inaccurately defined by Christian and Muslim leaders, indicating a lack of understanding regarding its true nature. Furthermore, these leaders often attribute supernatural abilities to different sources. What they have failed to grasp is that the existence of two sources for miraculous abilities implies the presence of two distinct divine entities or gods. If one wrongly attributes the miraculous abilities of modern sages to a source other than God, the same reasoning can be applied to Jesus as well. Therefore, exercising restraint when passing judgment on modern sages becomes essential, as doing so might inadvertently lead to judgment upon Jesus himself. Consequently, it is crucial to apply a consistent standard when assessing both modern sages and historical figures like Jesus. Let's explore the example of Jesus walking on water, a miracle highly revered in both Islam and Christianity. It is essential to keep in mind that Christianity, as a distinct religious tradition, is relatively young, with a history spanning only around 2000 years. Before the emergence of Christianity, the term Christianity did not exist, and the concept of miracles was often referred to as magic within various ancient cultures, including ancient Egypt and Africa. In these civilizations and other parts of the world, individuals displayed similar extraordinary feats, such as walking on water or levitating in the air, but these acts were labeled as magic instead of miracles. However, it is crucial to comprehend that, Despite the varying terminologies, these remarkable abilities do not indicate distinct sources, as that would imply the existence of multiple gods. 
The transformation of terms across time and cultures highlights the evolution of human understanding and interpretation, where what was once referred to as magic came to be known as miracles in the context of religious traditions like Christianity and Islam. This observation does not imply the existence of separate origins for these exceptional abilities but rather emphasizes the diverse ways in which human societies have conceptualized and articulated such extraordinary phenomena throughout history. In modern times, there are sages with extraordinary and miraculous abilities, such as teleportation of objects or transmutation from one form to another. However, they do not employ these remarkable powers for personal gain, as they attribute them to the divine, which manifests these miracles through them. The ordinary, personal self lacks the capacity to perform such miracles, otherwise, many would have attempted to transform large rocks into gold, aiming to amass immense wealth and become billionaires as a result. Miraculous or magical abilities have the potential to unveil numerous enigmatic aspects of our consciousness and, consequently, the nature of reality. As a result, these demonstrations hold tremendous significance for both science and religion. Consider the scientists who formulated the Big Bang Theory, had they been aware of the miraculous ability of dematerialization and rematerialization of matter, it is plausible that they might have arrived at a more straightforward explanation for the origin of the physical universe, altering their theory accordingly. Every miraculous or magical power holds both spiritual and scientific significance. For example, consider the remarkable miracles demonstrated by numerous sages, such as levitating objects or even their own bodies in the air. These feats carry profound spiritual significance, representing a merging with the air element of the Absolute or God. Interestingly, these demonstrations pose a challenge to scientific theories, suggesting that they might not provide a complete explanation of reality. This, in turn, paves the way for exploring another vital aspect, consciousness. It motivates a deeper investigation into these miraculous phenomena and fosters a better understanding of how the physical realm or matter intertwines with the non-physical realm of consciousness. As a result, these miracles or magical powers serve as a means to bring people closer to the spiritual dimension or God, affirming its existence. They are intended to benefit and guide humanity. These extraordinary acts of modern sages have the potential to bring about positive change, lead to spiritual awakening, and urge individuals to connect with various aspects of the divine or the absolute. Therefore, there is a divine purpose behind these actions, with the ultimate aim of uplifting and enlightening humanity through these extraordinary experiences. These sages have also shed light on the spiritual errors and contradictions present within both the Bible and the Quran. As a result, their teachings may not always align with the doctrines of either Islam or Christianity. Anticipating a connection to prophetic lineage can be misleading, especially considering that several of the Abrahamic prophets, such as Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, and Jesus, are considered mythical beings, and their prophecies have been shown to be false. Consequently, expecting their messages to align with the core teachings of previous prophets may not be reasonable, as it could potentially lend credibility to their claims. The message and miraculous abilities of these sages have the potential to bring a positive impact on humanity, fostering justice, compassion, and righteousness. However, this can only happen if Muslim and Christian leaders step aside and allow these sages to flourish. Presently, these leaders are suppressing and even falsely accusing these sages to maintain their own power. Using the biblical or Islamic criteria to judge these sages would be inadequate since the nature of these holy men surpasses the comprehension of the authors of the Bible or the Quran. Even modern Christian and Islamic scholars do not possess the capability to fully recognize or understand these sages, as they operate on a higher spiritual level. Muslims believe that Allah will physically enter the earth with unique divine signs, but it is important to note that God, being omnipresent, does not physically enter the earth. Rather than solely waiting for Allah or Jesus, Muslims and Christians should strive to recognize and acknowledge these holy men who walk among them.